My worry's got the best of me again. So I rented this flare gun again to count the colonies that are dead and are weak. See these ones I count as weak. These ones up here I count maybe as stronger. So I've gone through the whole shed just to assess things again. And this time I'm not just counting these dead ones, but I'm counting these weak ones also as losses, just assuming that they're gonna have a tougher time getting through this spring. And what I want to know is if these weak ones don't make it, how many replacements am I going to need? And it's so hard reading this because what does that mean? That's probably a dead one. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? So basically what I'm going by is a good significant glow, something like this would, I'd count as a dead or a weak. That is probably a dead. Some of these clusters that show just a mild heat signature, that one's probably dead. Let me find one. They actually, I mean, the cluster's a bit small, but if the cluster is at the front of the colony, like these ones, looks huge. These ones are probably dead or small. Yep. But sometimes a small cluster is at the back of the colony and doesn't show as strong of a heat signature like this one here. Where is it? This one. Look at them way back there. Decent little cluster back there, but just not showing on the front as the one beside it. So, what does all of this mean? It means I'm seeing a lot of glowing. So I went through with a pretty critical eye. So I figured I might as well be critical right now and help myself prepare for what's coming this spring. So anything like that, even though it's glowing just a little bit, I still counted them as losses. So I pulled out 200, which gives me roughly a 15% loss. So I'm not going to buy packages on that. I'm just going to ride this one out. Maybe stay the heck out of the shed for a little bit longer. Do you hear that roar? So I've turned off the fans. I've turned off the ceiling fans. I have a roar of bees in this shed. Business is not for the faint of heart. We're running projections on the farm right now, and the honey farm's pretty lucrative. As long as my bees are alive. And if my bees aren't alive, I have to buy packages in, which I can factor over the numbers, and then things work out. 
The problem is I'm poking around to see if there's a lot of available replacement stock. And there is not. And if there is, it's worth a fortune. So this business is pretty lucrative if we can keep these bees in these boxes. Isn't that the challenge? I mean, look at that. And glowing rows of bees. There's a dead one. So those 15% that I pulled out, that's including small and weak. So I will live with that. It's time for winter to be done.